Thank you for watching this episode of the Smarter Typical Architect series. I am Jason Semeliano, Chief Typical Architect of Smarter Incorporated. In today's episode, I'd like to speak to you about a very important concept in enterprise systems integration called messaging. Messaging is simply the use of a separate server through which other systems communicate with each other. Others may refer to this concept as enterprise messaging or message-oriented middleware. To keep it simple, I'll refer to this concept simply as messaging in today's video. To fully understand this concept, let us suppose we have four systems and our goal is to have complete systems integration and connectivity between these four systems. For some architects not familiar with the concept of messaging, the most intuitive thing to do might be to create direct point-to-point -point interfaces between each system. They would create an interface between system A and system B, system B to system C, C to D, and so on and so forth until they have full connectivity between all of the systems. You might ask, well, Jason, what's the big deal? That's what we have in our company, and we have 10 people managing those interfaces. So what? In this video, I'll discuss what I feel is the strongest disadvantage to this type of systems integration strategy. If you use direct point-to-point -point interfaces to integrate your systems, it means that every system would have to know exactly how to connect to all other systems in the enterprise. In our example here, system A would have to know exactly how to connect to system B, know exactly how to connect to system C, and know exactly how to connect to system D. In other words, system A has to worry about knowing the technical details on how to connect to three different systems. You can see that as you add more systems into the picture, this could get very ugly very quickly. Suppose you have seven systems or ten systems. For those who majored in computer science back in college, do you remember the formula that calculates the number of different connections required to achieve complete systems integration in your enterprise? The formula is connections equals n times n minus 1 all divided by 2 where n is the number of systems in your enterprise so if you have 10 systems you need to integrate that would be 10 times 10 minus 1 divided by 2 or 10 times 9 divided by 2 or 90 divided by 2 all equal to 45 different connections in order to achieve complete systems integration. That, my friends, is a nightmare. It may look okay in our example of just four systems, but you're going to need at least one Advil or Tylenol for every system you add into the picture because I guarantee you it will be a headache. So what then do we do? Let's go back to the main point of this video, messaging. If you take your systems and you put a messaging server which they can all connect to, this nightmare brought about by direct point-to-point -point interfaces is no longer a problem. Instead of system A knowing exactly how to connect to all other systems in the enterprise, now System A simply has to know how to connect to just one system, which is the messaging server. And then all other systems in your enterprise connect to this messaging server instead of directly connecting to each other. Note that no matter how many systems you have in your enterprise, the fact remains that all those systems only need to know how to connect to just one system, the messaging server, in order to exchange data all throughout the enterprise. 
This is the better way to perform enterprise-wide systems integration. So, if the task ahead of you is to integrate the many different systems in your company, make sure you do away with the old model of direct point-to-point -point interfaces between each system. Replace that model instead with a concept of enterprise messaging. In a later episode of the Smarter Tipco Architect series, I will discuss why I feel Tipco Enterprise Message Service, or EMS for short, is a great software product to use as the messaging system in your enterprise. Until then, this is Jason Semeliano, Chief Tipco Architect of Smarter Incorporated. I hope this video has contributed to your understanding of enterprise systems integration. Thank you for watching and please stay tuned for more episodes to come. Take care.